you! What is up everybody? This is Atticus of Death Meddler, and I know I've been pretty late onto this topic that has been unfolding for quite some time, but I'm going to be talking about the death of Leela Alcorn. Now, who is Leela Alcorn, you might be asking me, those of you who are not aware of who, who she is. Well, Leela Alcorn is, was a 16 slash 17 year old transgender and um, being transgender basically means that you are a girl trapped in a boy's body or a boy trapped in a girl's body. So that is what being transgender is like. So unfortunately for her, she basically was ridiculed by the two people who were supposed to love her unconditionally, which was her mother and father. And therefore on December 28th, she took her own life by stepping into a very busy highway and a semi-trailer hit her, which was very unfortunate. So I'm going to be talking about religion and transphobia and of course Leela's parents because those do mix together quite often. Now she has made a suicide letter after her death and it's on her Tumblr. So if I can find it, I will leave it down on the description below for you to read it. So, <clears throat> in her suicide note, um, she explains that it was a face, that I would never truly be a girl, that God doesn't make mistakes, that I am wrong. Now, the amazing atheist explained this in his video in which he, in which he goes out of his way to say that he blamed all of religion, all Christians, for being religious and believing in an imaginary God for the death of Leela. Now, in many ways, that is bigotry in itself because you're generalizing all Christians or Jews or Muslims as being, you know, unfair to LGBTQs, when in fact that it is not true at all. I mean, my family, which is pretty Catholic, has been very accepting for me being an atheist, especially my grandmother. And of course, my cousin Naomi and her new wife, Kara. My family's been very accepting towards her being lesbian, and they've welcomed her new wife with open arms. So that just goes to show that there are some religious people who are religious and don't shove their beliefs down people's throats. If you, if you're Christians, Jews, or Muslims who don't shove your beliefs down other people's throats, then I applaud you. So, and it is very unfortunate that this stuff goes around in everyday life, not just in America, but for the entire world. Like, trans people get much more shit thrown at them than do lesbians and gays combined. And it is an absolute fucking tragedy that this is going on. And I mean, like the stuff that's been happening after her death, like people have been saying that the truck driver who killed Leela Abdullah Ahmed should be brought charges for killing Leela, which, <laughs> He's blameless over this. He basically just, like, for a split second, she jumped into the highway and he killed her, which, you, you don't do that. And of course, Dan Savage posted a tweet where he says, Leela Alcorn's parents threw her in front of that truck. They should be ashamed, but first they need to be, they need to be shamed. Charges should be brought. Okay, um, I will get to her parents in a minute, but... How the fuck did they throw her physically? Well, it is true that they scorned the living shit out of her, but no, they didn't, like, fucking throw her physically, but... And I do somewhat agree that the charges should be brought because they made her life a living fucking hell. Now to get on to her parents. Now, to her parents, who basically made her entire life a living fucking hell. After her death, they became the complete exact fucking opposite. They did a complete fucking 360. And there's this one Facebook post where she is like mourning for the loss, referring to her as him. And 
was even much more worse to add further insult to injury, and I gotta thank my friend the random gangsta for sharing this information for me, but she makes an Instagram profile and she's screenshotting every hate message that she's been receiving and she's taking pride over that. Here's what I gotta say. Go fuck yourself, you fucking harlot. I mean, Jesus Christ, you're the one who brought her to this world. You're supposed to love her unconditionally, whether regardless if it, she was a he or a she. I mean, Jesus Christ, you should be forced to walk through a fucking minefield for what you've done and what you're how you're handling this. You're a fucking deplorable piece of shit. You are like the ultimate traitor for her. It's like a parent who scorns or disowns their child for being LGBTQ, that is like the ultimate form of betrayal. And I know this first fucking hand. One of my good friends is trans and she was recently kicked out for being like a rust punk and of course for being trans. And I mentioned her in a video before and I'm gonna have to say this again. I'm gonna show all of you her funding page for her transgender operation. She's going through some really rough times and it would mean not just the world for me, but it would mean the entire world for her that if you just take just a moment of your time and funding for her, it would be greatly appreciated. And I mean, there needs to be much more awareness over transphobia. It is a major pandemic that is going on in this country. And we need to stand together and, you know, educate ourselves over this. I mean, Leela Alcorn's story is just one of many stories that trans people go on an everyday basis. And I've done a little bit of research. So yeah, I hope that this has brought light to you. And for Leela Alcorn, if you have found peace, I hope that wherever you're at, that you are welcomed in open arms. So rest in peace. You are a beautiful young girl that deserved better. I am Atticus the Death Meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Rest in peace, Leela. i